can't believe she's really doing it. I can't believe it took this long. <laughs> I wasn't always a fan of James Potter. I was. And neither was Lily, but when she stopped calling him an idiot 12 times a day, we all got suspicious. So, we took bets. And Remus won, annoyingly enough. He bet they'd be married a year out of school. I remember when Lily confessed to us that she'd kissed James. She'd kissed him. I couldn't believe it, that toe rag? Alice is blind to the endless charisma that is James, the full package Potter. Well, I wanted to be sure he'd treat Lily with all the love and respect she deserved. And I'm certain of that. James, you are the best man for the job. I'm glad it's you. I'll drink to that. <laughs> Where is this tree? I said two strides across the river and then over by the lily pad. Across as in over or around. How's that speech coming, Sirius? <sighs> Screw it. James is, is more than a friend. He's more than an excuse to throw a Stella stag party. He is my brother. He's the most important person in my life. When he set his sights on Lily, well, we all but couldn't hope for the best for him. Wasn't always easy. Prongs can be a bit of a prat. But he has proved to Lils what we know about him. That he is a wonderful man. And that he is fully dedicated to the people he loves. And Lily, you perfect flower, we don't deserve you. You have shown us all such, such kindness, such patience. And yes, such mischief. You are a marauder. Welcome to the family. <laughs> Just wait till you see her. Lily Evans. First thing I noticed about Lily Evans was that Lily Evans didn't notice me at all unless I was being an idiot. <laughs> okay, a total idiot. The second thing I noticed about Lily Evans were her eyes. Usually squinting at me with that wrinkle in her nose. But eventually Lily you started looking at me differently. And those eyes, they changed. They became brighter, and full of laughter and light, and sometimes searching. You were asking me to live up to my potential so that we could be together. And sometimes, when you gave me those looks, I couldn't believe that you were willing to wait for me. I'll be trying to deserve you for the rest of my life. I met you on the train to Hogwarts. You probably don't even remember it. But I thought you were a fool. Except you told me how much you wanted to be like your father, a Gryffindor. And you've always wanted to live up to him, being brave and open and loving. I wish he could be here today, but James, I know he's so proud of you because you've become exactly the man he is. Look around. All of these people are here because you opened your heart to this little family and because you opened your heart to me. I can't wait for our future even though it's uncertain because I know we'll have each other and someday children of our own will want to be just like you.
then I declare you bonded for life. Can't call you Evans anymore, I suppose. Oh, how odd. I'll absolutely never know when you're trying to get my attention. Stick with it then. Yes. <laughs>